welcome back once again. Today, surprise, surprise, I'm back with another tutorial for you guys. I'm sorry, that was very aggressive and I did not mean it to be. So at the moment, I'm really enjoying kind of not having a set plan with what I'm doing when I film. Kind of like, I have a rough idea what I want to do, but it's more of a creative journey that we both get to go on. If you guys are enjoying it too, please let me know down in the comment section below. So the theme for today's look I'm thinking is kind of like a grungy, witch, disheveled person. We're going to be gaunt, we're going to be old, we're going to be crusty. And that's about it. That's about all that I've got. I haven't got any real reference photos to go by. Just a little bit of thoughts. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of something. I am going to start with a nice clean base, even though shovel witchy people are not. I'm going to put probably a lighter shade of foundation on. But first, I'm going to prime my face. So I'm just going to go with the stay matte but not flat foundation in creamy natural. I think it's going to be a little bit lighter than my face. It's sheer. It's not sheer sharp, shall we? No. I'm not going to apply it with a beauty blender today because I feel like being a little bit crazy. I'm going to go with this lovely makeup brush that I promise is clean. It is just stained from all of the blue and green looks that I've been doing. I feel like I've got way too much foundation on my hand, but we'll see. Oh, oh my God, this is so much. Ah, what have I done? Help me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So there's my foundation done. I'm kidding, guys. <laughs> Help me. Okay, so I gave it with the brush a little bit. This is a dry beauty blender. This is not even wet. I don't even know if this is a technique, but this is what I'm doing. I'm just going over any patches that aren't nice and smooth and just Dabbing it. Just dabbing it. You know what inspired this look, guys? I've got this cheeky little mole right here. And it's never had any long hairs or anything on it. It's just been a nice little friendly little mole. Until the other day, I was looking in the mirror and there is two, no one, two, two little hairs just pronging off it. And I was like, that looks like a gnarly witch mole. And here we are. Okay. A little bit of translucent powder and I'm just gonna set my face. Anyone that says they don't enjoy the feeling of a nice, big, fluffy ass brush, just tickling them all over the face is a liar. Okay, now because my face is nice and chubby and it mm, kind of looks like I've been eating a little bit too much and not like I'm some creepy, dirty, manky old witch living in the forest, I need to make myself look a fair bit more bored. Taking this nice little angled brush, I don't even know what this is technically used for, but this is what I use it for. And this NYX contour palette. No, I'm not taking the contour palette. I want deep dark greys as my contour, not a nice healthy brown. So with this Morphe, ah, Morphe 35N palette, I'm gonna start with this grey over here, this light grey. Because I wanna look gaunt, I'm gonna drag this down as well, like it's quite sunken back. Like, look how much more gaunt that looks compared to this chubby little side of my face. Makeup is crazy. I'm going in with kind of like a little flat brush. I'm gonna go in and contour that. Contour my nose. Now with a darker shade, pretty much a black. I actually think it is a black. I'm going in, in, in and just deepening the real deep bits of the contour. So, I'm not quite sure why it's doing this to me. But I, like, in the mirror they look even, but on camera they do not. So I'm just gonna leave it and I'll come back to it. So just with a gray or a dark gray or a black, I'm just going in and deepening my eye socket. So now I'm going in with, I'm using the NYX eyebrow pencil because it's a nice faint, like not a very distinct line, not like an eyeliner would, it's a more faint line, which is what you want. Because I'm applying wrinkles, which I don't know if you can see, but I have on this side of my face. I'll turn the lights down and see if you can tell. Like here in the corner of my eyes, on my lips. And now I'm going to do it to the other half of my face. If you ever need to know where the lines would go, scrunch your face up or pull faces wherever the lines, like wherever it makes lines, like my forehead. My forehead, 
I don't know if you can see that, but they go like this. That's where the lines would be. They would be frown. That's where the lines would be. You pursed your lips. With doing makeup with every low light, you want to highlight to exaggerate. So with all the little lines that I've drawn, I'm just taking a white jumbo eye pencil, a little brush, and just applying anywhere that the highlight, the highlights would be with that. So a little bit of the skin underneath and a little bit on top. And if I find if you put it on too dark, just tap it and it'll, it'll do its thing. Usually complexions, when you get older, get a bit blotchy too. I'm gonna try and figure out what I want to use for that. So now I'm just using a NYX Buttercream lipstick. Just going in and dotting it. And patting it out at the same time. Also going to take a little bit of white onto my eyebrows. Just brush it over ever so gently. And because I'm picturing my little old witch to be living in the woods and in this wood cabin that she lives in, she does not have a toothbrush. So I'm about to get dirty teeth. Alcohol. So this tooth palette is activated with alcohol. So what you need also is to dry your pretty little teeth, which is the weird sensation I'm going to admit. I'm going to take just a little fine brush for it. So there's my nice decayed rotten chompers. Now just with a little bit of black eyeshadow, I'm going into the very middle of my mouth. Now I kind of want to add a little bit of eye makeup to this. Just with that semi-flat brush again. Going in with the black eyeshadow. Wow, that is very loose pigment. Now with the liquid liner, I'm wanting some sharp squealy lines. Fold my top down so you can't see it because it's not very witch-like attire. See, don't stress, it's still there. Now I'm going to need to contour my thingamajigs. What do you call them? Uh, call bones. So there we have it, guys. This is my crazy witch, just in general, creepy ghoul. I don't know what I want to call it just yet, but. I love this hair. I say it every time I do it. Now I do not have the steadiest hand, so the symbols are not very good. I think this means death, blood, fear, dark. No, first quarter, last quarter, vice versa. Then on my little chest of Rooney, we've got God and time on both sides. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did doing it for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.